Okay, uh, is this taking the right place? Um, these are some cheap uh, lobster style uh, half mitten, half glove gloves um, called Winter Soldier from Japan for about $13. They're made of um, a sort of a cheaper version of Gore Tex. It's called WPF Tex, which is probably a fluoride based uh, water repellent. You can hold it under the tap and the water won't get in there, but it's, it's repelling the water. I guess that after a while the repellent will wear off. You need to wash them, not in detergent, and uh, maybe iron them afterwards or spray again some more of that water repellent stuff. They're very light, about 80 grams per glove, but they feel really warm. I don't suppose they'll last all that long because the material's very um, thin. It's all sort of very lightweight, but really warm. I've got large hands, 22 centimetres around uh, 9.5 centimetres across. And the XL is just about right. I can wear um, an extra pair of um, uh, fleece liners uh, underneath to, to make it... I don't have to wash the gloves so often. They breathe so well that I think that they'll be suitable for a wide range of temperatures. It's got polyurethane on, the, um, on this side, which is a little bit thicker. And I think that may be completely water impermeable. It may, may last a bit longer. And the rest of it is that um, sort of cheap version of Gore-Tex. They've got two straps. One... And, uh, hold on, how do you do it up? Just pull it on it, two. And they're very quick to, um, very quick to strap up. And also, uh, pretty quick to unstrap. All you need to do is, uh, mm, there, yeah, see, unstrapped it. And also, just press the button there and you can unstrap it. So it's very well, very quick. Even with the gloves on, you should be able to, because I've never practiced before. Yep, I can take them on and off and strap them up very tightly, and they go up to about halfway to my elbow. So, highly recommended, and uh, very, very cheap. Uh, XL, as I say, for people with uh, 9.5 centimetres across the palm. Okay, stop recording. End. Maybe it doesn't understand that. I have to do that manually.